Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, June 14, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Joshua chapter 1, reading verse 9. And it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. We thank God for this reminder this morning. You know, we have the tendency to be overwhelmed and consumed by fear. You know, I have been a victim of fear most of my childhood. And I know what it feels like to be afraid. You feel like you have lost all control over the situation. And all you can do is to just stand still and just let whatever happen, happen. Fear have a way of eating away at our, our minds and our hearts. And that is why the Bible tells us that if we are to get rid of this fear, then we need to have the perfect love of God. It says in the word of God that perfect love casts out fear. And so it is a part of us as human to be fearful. But here God is saying to us, there is no need for you and I to be fearful. He said, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Why are you afraid when you have me? Why are you afraid when I have already overcome the world? Don't be afraid because I gave you my promise that I will go with you wherever you go. Isn't that what he says in his word? He says that what? He will protect you wherever you go. And so we may fear tomorrow because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. But how is it that you are going to allow fear to consume you about something that you have not yet received? You have not yet been given tomorrow. And so how are you going to launch yourself into something that you have not yet been given? And you allow it to eat away at you. Some of us, we worry about what we are going to eat for our dinner tomorrow. And I'm not just talking about just having a concern or what I'm talking about where our minds are scrambled. We are so scared of the thing. Whatever it may be that is troubling our mind, we are so afraid of it that we can't even pause to see God because fear has taken over the place where the perfect love of God should occupy. Every day that you go out, who is it that protects you when you go out? The Bible says that man heart is failing them for fear. So fear is the enemy. And fear can destroy you and I if we allow it to. But courage, courage even in the face of the great unknown is your ally. And why it is your ally? Because you have God on your side. And so it doesn't matter the dangers ahead. It doesn't matter the unknown that you don't see. It doesn't matter what it is that come against you. Once you have God on your side, you have already won. And so don't become crippled by fear. Use fear as a stepping stone to feed your courage and your confidence in God. 
God will not fail you. And He can see you safely through whatever it is that you have to navigate. So this morning I encourage somebody, be courageous, be of good courage, hold your head up high, look to Him who is able to keep you, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might, and you will ride out your storm with Jesus your captain. So may God continue to bless you. May God continue to show you favor. And may the peace that passeth all understanding be on your life. And may it help you to see that the way is clear. Because Jesus is there. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.